DJ, come with the tune. Hey guys, Risen Chaos Gaming here today, and today guys, I'm here with a bit of a different video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um a webcam box um using this free online program called Pixlr. Um, a uh, link will be down in the description. So for this, all you're gonna actually need is Pixlr and of course a computer. So all you're gonna want to do is click Open Pixlr Editor, and it, as you can saw, we'll will need to enable Adobe Flash and what you'll want to do is you want to click create a new image and then you're gonna to want to type in the resolution you're running your webcam so whatever your resolution is in this case for the friend I'm making this for it is 1920 by 1080 you just type it in like this but you make sure transparent is not clicked for this first one you don't need transparent till a bit later you click that go find our let's say you wanna just a generic one like this. Click OK. Go to the paint bucket. This. Or if you know exactly what color you're going to want your friend's thing to be or your, your own, you can just find the color you want automatically. Click that. And there you go. It's kind of like a chroma chroma key green uh, from what you guys can see. Then you're, gonna, then you're going to want to go to File, Save, save it as JPEG or PNG, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter for this first one. Click OK. Uh, type in some random one, so ours is going to be Verfgerg. And click Save. Now, now that you have that saved, you can click Close here. Because you've already saved. Create new image. And again, do 1920 by 1080. This will allow everything to work. Now this time though you want to click transparent. So we got this now. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit smaller so that we can really see the whole canvas that we're working with. Now what we're going to want to do, we want to go to uh, layer, open image as layer, Earthgerg, and there you have it. Now you might be thinking, well this is what we had last time. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to go to edit, free transform, and you can now transform to whatever as uh, size you want. Remember to keep the aspect ratio. You want to make sure you're holding down shift so that way it doesn't change shape. But for now we will just uh, make it let's say this big and there we go. Now what we're gonna want to do is you want to clear out the center. So this is a very easy step. All you have to do is click mark a tool. Line it up with it depending on whether or not you want thick or thin borders. I'm going to say thin. Uh, line it up like so. That way you make sure that you get a nice even edge around the whole thing. Then you just drag it on over here. And make sure it is all lined up. And then all you have to do is click backspace. As you'll see, it is nice, even. Already, it looks somewhat okay. Then all you have to do is click deselect all. And there you go. That It's as simple as that. That is your basic one color border. Now, of course, there's more things you can add, like a shadow and whatnot, by coming over here and clicking layer styles, but we'll get into that later. Next thing we're going to want to do is, assuming that this is what we're going with, uh, make sure that you put it in the center, because... Uh, in your in OBS or stream elements, if you use that like me, all you have to do actually is put the image wherever you want. It doesn't matter exactly where it is on the actual page. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add text. Now, as you can see, there's a little text tool right over here. Just click down, change the size, and then let's then we're going to find a font that looks good. For this, I'm going to say, let's use DK Cinnabar Brush. That's what we'll be using. So then, because my friend, his, by the way, shout out to Pandan. That is what his YouTube channel is. Go check him out. Great YouTuber. Great. He's just an awesome guy. Go check him out, guys. So, as you can see, you can do that. Or, if you want to, we can do in black whatever you think will look best for now we're going to just do it in black though that way it gets bold and 
can kind of see it. Of course, instead of putting the name, for example, you could put a logo, you could put um, maybe some extra things like latest subscriber, or latest uh, follower if you're on Twitch like me, etc. There's multiple things you can cover. I kind of don't like how, uh, you know, it's uh, big and very, very bold on it. So what you can do to change it is you can click Reasterize Layer, which will... It doesn't really change the image that much. It might make it a little bit smaller. Then that'll allow you to go to layer, or sorry, edit, and you'll be, you'll be able to free transform. So if you don't do reasterize layer, you can't do it, sadly. So now just make sure it's all in the, it's in the middle of your webcam, on the bottom or top or wherever you want to put it. Now we can add some of the fun stuff. We are going to come over here. We are going to now add a gradient to this. So what, all you have to do is you have to click the gradient tool, tool click this, and because I, I kind of think that my friend would like a three color gradient. So now we're going to click the first box right here. We're going to go to the brightest green possible. Next box, we're going to go for a slightly darker green. Not enough that it's like super dark, but just enough that it's a little bit darker than the previous. We are now going to on this for the eyedrop tool. Make sure that it's exactly what you want. Because sometimes even the slightest hue shift can be noticed. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the mark A tool again. Line it up like so with your webcam. There you go. Now what you'll be able to do is, once again, click the gradient tool. Just... No, it doesn't have to be this precise, but I'm going to make it this precise. Bring it on over here. And there you go. Now once again, you use the marquee tool. Make sure you deselect that. Make sure it's selected and... Bring this all the way down here like we did with the original color block make sure it's even once again and backspace there you go now you actually have a very cool looking but quite basic um webcam border now of course there are some added things you can do like you go over here to layer styles you can add an outer glow, you can add a drop shadow, uh, but the, I will say the drop shadow is very dark, so you're going to want to lower the opacity on this. The opacity is con sometimes can be a bit weird. Of course, you can change the angle, etc. And I think that's really cool. So, now that we got that out of the way, um, that's honestly pretty much it. Now, of course, you want to put that wherever you want, grab the, grab the name, make sure it's above the layer where the border is line it up like so and there you go of course you can also do some stuff like a uh, layer styles over here and you can do an outer glow I i'm gonna do that for my friend here like an outer glow like that um will really make it pop a bit more uh of course you can always adjust the hardness of it um we're gonna add a drop shadow once again, lower the, lowering the opac opacity. Not exactly sure how to that. I'm sorry. And there you go. You have a basic, clean webcam. Easy, simple, done. Now, all you have to do is, again, go to File, Save. And this is something that a lot of people forget about, but you have to make sure when you go to Format, make sure you click PNG. Or else it'll save with a white background, and you don't want that, because you just want the webcam border itself. Click OK. Save it where you want. We're going to do name this Pandans. Pandans webcam box thing. That's what we're going to name it. And it's simple as that, guys. Now that we have that done, um, yeah. That's literally all you have to do. Very simple, very quick, basic stuff. It's awesome. This tool is very versatile. You can make thumbnails, overlays. All sorts of other stuff. If you guys would like to see some of that stuff, 
maybe like a how to make an overlay tutorial or uh, different things of like that, please let me know. Um, other than that, guys, this has been Risen Chaos Gaming signing out. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like. But yeah, guys, I will see you all in future live streams and videos. By the way, follow me on Twitch, uh, Risen Chaos TV, or twitch.tv slash Risen Chaos TV. See you guys later. Turn up the music when I hop in the ride.